What's going on, y'all? DJ Son with Astralis Star Six, and today's video, I'm going to bring y'all Mr. Oops, did I do that? Mr. Watch It Toes, Mr. Kaboom, whatever you want to call him, the Trap Master, the Trap Maestro, Capkin. That's who we going over today. So I'm going to be going over his loadout, how to use him, what he's best used for, and as usual, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to provide y'all an in-game example of me using him. And let me tell you, this round got kind of crazy. It's real fast, action-packed, and hopefully y'all like it. But before I get into that, I have a question of the day for y'all. So my question of the day for today's video is, what trap operator do you like best and why? You like Frost? You like Legion? You like Capkin? What trap operator you like and why do you think they're at the top of your list? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the Charles Archer's channel. We really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video. But that's enough of me rambling for the intro. Now, let's get straight into the guide. I know y'all got to respect this one. Just just give it a second. Just look. We got to twirl it. Let's twirl it a little bit. Hey, my DPI is a little low. You know, the excuse, excuse the, the twists and turns. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better with it. But this man looks like something that's straight out of Ghost Recon, bro. For real, for real. Look at this. You see him coming around the corner ready to shoot you. What you going to do? It's night night for you. So, this is what I run, right? He has the 9X19 VSN, and he also has the SAG-12. So, for the most part, I don't really run shotguns at all in this game unless I'm playing like a mute or a smoke or something like that to where I gotta make rotates and something where I'm gonna have some range too. Because with mute and smoke, you have SMG-11s on them. But if you were to run a shotgun on Capkin, all you got long range is pistols. So, I don't, I don't really think that's really all the move so as always and as usual on my guns i run the 1.5 on whoever is available to use it because these with this scope i find that I, i'm at my best when i'm using a 1.5 scope i can take long range fights i can take medium range fights whatever fight i want i can take it and actually see what's on my screen with this with this type of scope so this is why i run it on almost every gun and something that's also different from other guns that i run i have a compensator on his gun instead of a flash hider now i know i said that flash hiders are king in siege but for the most part running the compensator on this gun has not done me any wrong so for the most part anything but a muzzle brick and a suppressor do not use these two it's either a compensator or a flash hider you can play around with each figure out what feels better to you and then that's pretty much how you run that now another thing that you will hear me repeat very often is i am mr i can't control that recoil i am recoily challenged if that's even the thing i cannot i cannot control recoil it's a, it's a struggle for me that i have in every almost every game i'm trying to get better at it for the most part to control the recoil a lot better and actually have a lot more confidence when going into firefights i run the vertical grip instead of the angle now as always if you're more aggressive and you want to be ready for firefights quicker and you have no problem controlling recoil the angle grip may be for you but for me usually when i go around the corner or something like that i'm already ads so i don't have to have it snap while like it will snap using the angle grip if that makes sense so i run the vertical grip on the captain gun now for secondaries we got the pmm and the gsh handguns there's not really a big difference to me other than the damage this one does 44 while this one does 61 nothing really to say about the secondary so gadget wise he has an impact and he also have a c4 capkin being like a great roamer too you could use the impacts like you know to help you and with the introduction of osa you know the impacts break her shield so maybe you're fighting an osa or something like that and you need to break it and get that pick but for the most part i just like running nitro cells on capkin so this is pretty much my loadout right here. So now we go to the next part of the video where I explain how he is to be used. So before we move on to the next part of the video really quick, I wanna give a shout out to today's video sponsor and that's Root Insurance. So with Root Insurance, you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive. Good drivers can save up to $900 a year with Root. So be sure to download the Root app today and see how much you could be saving with Root and you could save hundreds, so be sure to get it. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. So Capkin is really one of those operators where you could just bring and he's useful for whatever in all honesty. For the most part, he is going to excel at slowing the attackers down. So say you if you choose to roam with your traps, right? 
and you want to roam an area or take control of an area that a lot of attackers push through aka open area on bank maybe the bar area on clubhouse the main lobby and piano areas in consulate like stuff like that these are all high traffic areas and things that people need to take control of depending on what site they're going to like if they're downstairs on clubhouse they have to take bar to get the hatches if they're in garage on consulate you have to take up top especially if the thatcher's banned to get the stuff off the wall or you can shoot a zero cam in there or send a twitch drone however you want to do it that also works too but for the most part teams will take up top and break the piano floor so it makes it uncomfortable for defenders just to stop them from planning and stuff like that so if you put capkin traps in those areas you're guaranteed at least if two don't go off and you get your kill you have the possibility of getting one and then now you have an attacker that's low health so you already have an advantage in the fight like that if they were to hit a capkin trap now with the new rework you can put more than one of his traps on a doorway so if you wanted to take all five of your captain traps and put them on a doorway and just watch everything go kaboom the second that somebody runs through it that is your prerogative you could do so it's probably gonna be really fun to see too so if there is an area like i said that somebody's pushing and with the new rework you can slap two on one door three on one door that's a definite kill right there now will they be easier to see the most likely they'll be easier to see because there's more than one on the doorway and it depends on you know how close or how far you could put them so if you were to put two ground level maybe they won't see them and they trip both of them and you have a free pick right there now all of a sudden you have numbers and you can play the numbers game in siege pretty much y'all know how that goes he is an excellent roamer but you can also put traps on your site doorway so if you were to put two traps on the church door maybe they won't be able to see him on the hatch they'll run through there especially if they know somebody's on the bar maybe they drone it and see the traps i don't know but if especially if they don't and they just try to push in sight and try to take it you can put two traps on the church doorway it blows up bam you just stop the attackers from getting that plant down you see how that works so there's a multitude of ways that you can use capcom but like i said earlier he is best at slowing down people that like to just run in and try to get easy kills so if you are like me you've seen people do the finca blitz rush they people will do that all day every day you bring a frost or you bring a, a capkin you bring a legion or something like that all trap operators i guarantee you that team is going to have a bad time trying to push you on site so quick points of order he has a good gun you can run with his traps you can also play close to site with his traps he has a nitro for plant denial he's good at slowing down rushing attacking operators and you know honestly I played a couple cheaters in my day where I bought a capkin and I'm gonna just say I've gotten a few, a few picks. So, you know, if Battle Lion ain't working and you think somebody in your team is cheating, go ahead and bring that capkin. Hey, he gonna have a bad day, let me tell you. So, as usual, when people stay to the end of the video, I provide in game examples of me playing capkin. And since we're here at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one at y'all. So, I'm gonna let this in game example play, let this round play out and I will catch y'all when the round is over. Also, another quick side note, we have a team skin that's in the store right now that you can snatch up, so be sure to check this out. The skins are available for the R4C and the L8, so be sure to grab those up while you can, because those skins that are in the store now won't be there for much longer. So snatch them up, hope y'all like them. But with that, let's get back to the video. I know they ain't asking me to reinforce.
Hey, go on. All right, guys. So hopefully this guide has helped you out. Hopefully I didn't ramble a little too much, and you guys learned something from watching me play Capkin. And as usual, if you enjoyed and liked this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Trials R6 channel. It'll really help us out. And also, while you're there, you can see what else we got for you. It's our goal here to make you guys or teach you guys things that maybe you don't know and help make you better see players. So if you want, go head over to the channel, check and see other videos we got for you. And, you know, if you want to see more from me, you can also go ahead and head over to my YouTube channel at DJ Son and check out the type of stuff I may got for you, you know? I'm starting to dip into a little variety content, so uploading things like Demon Slayer and things of that nature. So if you're into that type of thing, check the channel out. Let me know what you think. And also, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Son. And I also stream on Twitch, so you can go ahead and drop a follow there too at DJ Son. All socials. So let me get out of here before I start rambling and talking y'all ear off. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Astralis, as usual, thank you for having me. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Good luck on your Seas games, y'all. Peace.